Hey y'all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south, more specifically, Sawty, Georgia. Now in my younger days on YouTube, when I was a brash youngster, about three years ago, um, I did a video where I was poking fun, I was in a mocking manner towards the National Quilt Museum in Paducah, Kentucky, and uh, the, 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 the fine people at the, the, the Quilt Museum did not take my my jibs lightly. They, they, they exposed me for being, you know, kind of a jerk in, the, in, in that particular situation. So I, I, I've made, um, I haven't made amends exactly with them yet. I need to make it back there. But I've decided that every museum deserves its fair shake regardless. And that is why today I am at the Gord Museum. Follow me. Okay, we're starting strong here. We've got, got this little hound dog here made of gourds. And he's looking up at this little gourd raccoon here eating a corn cob. Thank you very much. Maybe we can get a new thing going with that. That'd be, <laughs> it's not maybe a new idea. <laughs> All right. Look at this. Thank, thank you so much. Gourd hobby horse here. Sort of gourd based instrument. There's a little gourd dragon right there. Some deer antlers. Why not? Ooh, and a Peruvian nativity scene in a gourd. Indonesian and Philippine gourd related items. Chinese cricket cages. I guess they'd keep a little cricket in the gourd for good luck. I guess they were grown in molds, like you put a gourd in a mold and it would grow into the shape you want. Huh. Seems like one of the primary focuses of gourds is making instruments out of them. Ah, oh, check out that cool instrument. It's another nativity gourd. It's the actual gourd that this piece came from. The oh, yeah? beautiful texture on the bottom huh. comes from the impression of the inside of the gourd. Very cool. And that's, that's how we do it. Nice. Here we have the gourd may <laughs> kitchen shop. I, I, like, I really like gourd puns. There's a gourd turkey, a gourd, ooh, gourd hot dog, sorry, and a gourd bagel. It's a gourd globe, and there's a gourd deer head. <laughs> oh, was your cash register a gourd? Yeah, it really is something we use. And it's computerized. We upgraded. Computerized. Can you believe that? Okay. Let's see. Oh, joke, wow. of course. <laughs> no, nah, I believe it's real. <laughs> These are mutant gourds. These are some of the gourds from our first crop failure in 1977. Here is the founder of the Gourd Museum, who's actually a half gourd, half human uh, abomination. <laughs> oh, look at the adorable gourd monkey. Have a gourd day. Oh, 
And here is different gourd artists from all over the country. Like this. Gord Alina. Looks like her hair is uh, Spanish moss. Careful, you'll get you'll get chiggers. You can take home your own gourd scraps for only 50 cents. Mm. These are all these raw gourds for purchase. See, when we were kids, um, my grandma would grow zucchinis for the sole purpose that we'd grow a big zucchini, carve it out and make a zucchini boat. We can put little action figures and dolls inside and, and swim it around in the pool. And one year my grandfather did want to grow a gourd to make a birdhouse out of, but uh, my sister, my cousin, uh, picked the gourd prematurely to turn it into a zucchini boat. Even though it wasn't a zucchini, I guess they figured they'd make a gourd boat and my grandfather was devastated. They, 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 they ruined his gourd. All right, this is a gourd puzzle. Let's see if I can put it together. This is hard. Oh, oh. That piece. No, maybe. Oh, let's see. No, oh, oh, oh. Come on, I know you're the right piece, man. Ah, uh, okay. Almost there. Gourd puzzles are hard. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is why you have to give every museum a choice. P please feel free to try on the gourd heads. Okay, I'm having a little bit of trouble fitting my massive cranium inside this gourd. Ugh. Okay, that, that gourd head is not going to fit me. Can I manage? Oh my gosh, I got gourd in my eye. I, can only, I managed to squeeze my head in this gourd mask. I don't know, this is a full helmet. I don't know how I'm gonna get this off my head, but this is pretty cool. Look at the creepy gourd man. <laughs> oh. Could be a some sort of new slasher villain, Gord Head. Oh, what a wonderful day. What a wonderful museum here in Saute, Georgia. Oh, so if you like these videos, please check down below. I have a interactive map that'll show you all the places I've been and all the places that I haven't been. You can make recommendations on places you think I need to go. And if you like these, if you like to support these videos, I sell t-shirts down below, as well as a Patreon, where I'll send you postcards if you donate at least $3 a month. And also sell t-shirts if you're interested in that. For now, this one's in the gourd. Oh no. Oh no, okay. Let me see. Success.